everyone. Today we're going to read a story from the Bible. Now, the Bible is a book that is filled with stories of bravery, stories of romance. It's filled with lots of exciting adventures. And the most amazing thing is that they are all true stories. So we all know the story about creation and that's when God created everything that we can see, the whole world and us. But now we're going to go a little bit further along in the Bible and we're going to read the story about Noah's Ark. Time passed and many people filled the earth. Everyone, everywhere had forgotten about God and were only doing bad things all the time. God's heart was filled with pain when he saw what had happened to the world he loved. Everywhere was disease and death and destruction, all the things that God hates. Now Noah was God's friend. Noah listened to God. He talked to God. He just loved being with God, a bit like you do with your best friend. Noah, God said, things have gone wrong. People have filled my world with hate instead of love. They are destroying themselves and each other and my world. I must stop them. First, we'll build an ark. Do you know how to build an ark? Well, neither did Noah. Luckily, God knew and he would show him. A storm is coming, God told Noah, but I will rescue you, I promise. I'll send the animals to you, ones that creep and crawl and slither and slime and gallop and hop and bound and climb. And don't forget to pack everyone's food. The storm was going to wash away all the hate and sadness and everything that had gone wrong and make the world clean again. God had thought up a way to keep Noah safe, but Noah would have to trust God and do exactly what God told him to do. So Noah built an ark. Noah's neighbors came up to watch and point and laugh because they didn't believe Noah about the boat or the storm or needing to be rescued. And Noah must have looked rather silly to them. His boat was in the desert. The desert was nowhere near the sea and there wasn't even a cloud in the sky. Why would anyone need an umbrella, let alone a boat? There's Noah building, working very hard on his boat. But Noah didn't mind so much what other people thought. He minded what God thought. So he just did what God told him to do. When the ark was ready, God said, All aboard! And Noah's family and all the animals climbed inside. Then God shut the door. And it started raining. For minutes, that joined up into hours, that joined up into days, that joined up into weeks and weeks. And the rain joined up into puddles, that joined up into rivers, that joined up into lakes, that joined up into a flood that covered the whole world. Their boat that at once seemed so big, suddenly seemed very small. But in the middle of the huge storm, in the crashing waves, in all the thunder and lightning, through it all, God was with them. 
and God kept them safe for 40 long days and 40 long nights. Finally, the rain stopped. The sun came out and Noah threw open all the windows. Hooray, everyone shouted. Noah sent his dove out to explore and it wasn't long before she brought him back a fresh olive leaf. Everyone knew exactly what that meant. She had found a tree and land. The water was going down. At last, the boat landed quite suddenly on top of a great mountain. As soon as it was safe, God said, out you come. And so they did. Everyone skipping and dancing onto the dry land. The first thing Noah did was to thank God for rescuing them, just as he had promised. And the first thing God did was make another promise. I won't ever destroy the world again. And like a warrior who puts away his bow and arrow at the end of a great battle, God said, See, I have hung up my bow in the clouds. And there, in the clouds, just where the storm meets the sun, was a beautiful bow made of light, a rainbow. It was a new beginning in God's world. Look at that beautiful rainbow. Wasn't that a great story? Do you know, the part that I find really amazing is that even though people were making fun of Noah and everyone thought that he was so silly, he still listened to what God asked him to do and he trusted that God would keep his promise in the end. I find that a bit tricky sometimes. It's tricky to do things even though other people think that they're a bit silly. But God promises us that if we listen to him and if we follow his ways, that he will always be there for us. So the next time you see a rainbow, you can remember the story of Noah and you can remember God's promise that he will always be there for us. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that you love us, Lord. We thank you, God, that you give us stories in the Bible to read, like the story of Noah. We thank you, Father, that you promise us that you will always be there for us. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would help us to trust you and that we would, we would follow your plan for our lives, just like Noah followed your plan and built an ark. Amen. Hi everyone. We are going to make a craft today for Noah's Ark and we will be using a paper plate. Now I've got a small paper plate and that's fine. You can use a small one or a big one. And then what you want to do is, so my plate has got a shiny side and it's not really going to work if I color on the shiny side. So you wanna turn it over and then use this dull side to do your coloring on. So the first step is that you need to draw your arc. Now my arc is going to be brown. So I'm going to draw half of the paper plate. I'm going to draw a line on either side like this. And then here I'm going to draw the little roof of my arc in the middle. So going to it's it's just like drawing a little house so you need the walls and then you need the roof hmm not very straight but that's good enough so that is going to be my arc I'm going to put some windows in my arc so that people can see when it stops raining so I have some windows 
usually have round windows on a ship, so I've given mine some round windows. And now I'm going to colour in my arc, being very careful not to go over the line onto this side because there's going to be a rainbow over here. So let's start colouring. Right, so there we go. I have colored in my boat and I used different colors. So I actually ran out of colors, but it doesn't matter because it looks like it's wood. So I quite like it. And then if you look very carefully at the plate, you see there's sort of an edge over there. Now that part is going to be your rainbow. So I'm going to color my rainbow now. So I have finished my rainbow. As you can see, I've got my arc with my windows and then I've got a beautiful rainbow going all the way around like that. And now the final step, we're going to cut out the white part of the arc and you really do need to go and get an adult to help you. So go and call mom and dad and ask them to help you with your cutting. So I've got a sharp knife and mum or dad going to make a hole for you so that you can put your scissors in. And then I've got my scissors. And I'm going to cut around the edge of my rainbow all the way around the arc where the roof is going up. I'm gonna cut this whole white piece out. Oh, I've forgotten to color in my windows. I better do that as well. So being very, very careful and very sensible with the scissors, I'm going to cut all the way around. There we go, I'm turning my paper as I need to. Now it looks like this. I'm just going to color in my windows. I'm going to give it a little frame. Color the inside black. There we go. So what you can do is you can hook it on your door or on your cupboard and every time you see it, you can remember God's promises.